Good morning. This is the first video of module one. Um, there is a tutorial attached with these modules that explains the interface of AutoCAD. Today we're going to start a little bit of basic 2D drawing. Um, and this is what your AutoCAD interface looks like. Before we actually start drawing, I'm going to walk you through the process of opening a new file, saving a file, and closing it. And then we're going to learn how to create templates, which are very important for your initial setup in any AutoCAD drawing. And then we're going to talk a little bit about using the draw toolbar, which is this toolbar here. So to begin with, when you open AutoCAD, you will get a default drawing number one. I have drawing number two open because I've been working on it, but you will have a default drawing open. Uh, my screen might look a little different from yours because I have my grid on, which is not a big deal. You can easily turn it off um, if needed. And when you want to open a new drawing, you simply either go to the application toolbar here and you can go to open and then you can open a drawing or a sheet set or a DGN. You can also go up here to the quick access toolbar and click on new. You can also go to file and new and open a new drawing. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is go to file and click on new. And when you do that, AutoCAD will automatically prompt you to open a new file from a template. And there are many, many templates built in here. Um, the second part of this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create our own personal template so you can set it up the way you want your file to be so that you can get your settings, your foundation going from the get-go. For now, though, we're just going to use the default AutoCAD template, which is the ACAD template. And we're going to click on that once. And before AutoCAD opens a drawing, um, I am getting an error message. You may or may not get this because I have an educational product. All that is saying is that if you save a drawing using the educational license that I have, there's going to be a plot stamp on the screen, which this is, it's not a big deal. And it's something you cannot change. It is an uh, AutoCAD proprietary stamp and you cannot touch it because the software belongs to them. So anytime you print something using an educational AutoCAD license, you will get a little stamp that says produced by an Autodesk educational product. All you have to do is click continue and your new file will open. If you notice the top bar there says drawing three now. So all we did was we went to file new and then we clicked ACAD which was a template file and open new file. To save the file, it's very simple. It's just like in any other application. You go to File and click on Save As the first time you save the file. After that, when you open the file and you want to save it, you would click on Save or Control S, which is the keyboard shortcut it's showing you on the screen. But the first time you save the file, you click on Save As, and then it's going to prompt you to give the file a name and then identify the folder you want to save it as or save it wherever you want to. So I am going to just put this on the desktop for now. You typically want to create a very specific folder where all your AutoCAD or all your all CAD files are going to go. If you're working by project, then you want to name it by project. Um, if you're working um, on a contract basis, if you want to put it down by date, that's okay. Um, for now, though, I'm just going to put it on the desktop and leave it as drawing 3.dwg and click on save and so now my file up top says it's in the metas folder which is my folder and it's drawing.dwg okay now there are i'm going to go back to save as and show you three different cad file types um, actually there are many cad file types so the three prominent ones you need to know about are the dwg files so that's one there is a DWT t file, my mistake, and a DXF file. The DWG file is a drawing file. Um, it's changeable. You can go back and edit it. So the DWG file is the actual drawing file. The DWT file is a template file. And a template file is very similar to templates that you use for your know, furniture, layouts, or your graphical symbols that you use for drafting. You have a plasticky thing that has um, a particular shape already cast into it and you can reuse it over and over again that's the same concept of a template file you make your settings and you can reuse them over and over again and a DXF file is very easy to transfer files uh, between people I'm just going to X out of this I don't want to worry about that 
and cancel it. Okay. To close a file, you can either go here to the X arrow, um, not that one because that will close the software. This one is going to close the file. So if I click on that, uh, my drawing number three file is gone. If I want to bring it back, all I have to do is go to File, Open, Find my drawing, which is on the desktop, select it. Either I can double click on it or I can click on it once and click on Open, and there it is back on again. Okay, so that was opening a new drawing, saving a file, closing it, and opening it again. What we're going to do next is we're going to create a template, which is what, like I said, it's a setting where you create your own personal settings um, from the get-go and every time you want to start a new file and you want the same settings you open it from the template file every time you open a new CAD file CAD will always prompt you and ask you if you want to use the AutoCAD template or not so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a template file this is for architectural drafting files you can create any number of template files that you want depending on the nature of your work so you could have a template file for an architectural project if you had a different for a civil engineering project. Um, you can have different templates for architectural units, which is your feet and inches units, which is what we mostly use in the United States for architectural drawing. You can also have a template file that uses decimal units, which is the metric system.